Today's video is powered by Hawpog. Skip it up and that up. Microsoft is doing guerrilla tactics. Steve Ballmer has sweaty armpits that are drastic. The PS4 is going to be really good, so it's making Microsoft very spastic. Ah, oh, son. So Microsoft is having some internal troubles with getting software ready for the Xbox 720. They've canned a bunch of projects. They're behind on a bunch of projects. It's not looking good for their like exclusives in their first party titles. So what are they going to do? What is Microsoft going to do? They're going to throw a shit ton of cash at third party developers to make games they're developing exclusive to the Xbox 720. Yeah! For example, the title that's coming out from Respawn Entertainment, the same dudes who started up Infinity Ward and then they left Infinity Ward and caused all that drama. That's old news now, but that title that's being codenamed Titan right now, I believe, that Microsoft's trying to buy that out and make it exclusive to the Xbox 720. So if Microsoft can't do it by making a better quality product, they'll do it by buying developers. Isn't it wonderful? But you know what, though? Um, I don't think it's going to work like it did in the past, man. Sony used to do this back in the day with the PS2. I mean, think about it. How many... The Grand Theft Auto series was at least exclusive to them for a very long time. And it's just... There's... Developers need to... Unless they're going to throw an insane amount of money that would make up for having the title be multi-platform. I, I just don't think... I think having exclusives from third parties is an antiquated business model now. The The with how much money needs to go into developing new games, it's just not logical to just put it on one platform, even if the company is throwing money at you. I just, I don't see, I mean, unless the game is guaranteed to sell like 20 million copies, I don't see how it would be profitable for Microsoft. I mean, yeah, okay, like say Call of Duty, for example, is exclusive to the Xbox 720, which I doubt that'll happen. Yeah, it'll get an install base of the 720. People will buy the system and that install base will be there. But I know the PS4 is going to move units. People are already very excited about it. And I can't picture any company with common sense, unless Microsoft is going to throw that much cash at them, it would just make it for the Xbox 720. And even if they do throw an insane amount of cash, it still may be more profitable for them to make the game multi-platform. So I just, I don't know how much truth there is to this article unless Microsoft is really, really going to be like, here's like $200 million here, $200 million here, here's a billion here, which maybe they'll do. I just don't see it being logical for a third-party developer to be like, okay, you're throwing cash at, me, cash at me even if I can make more money going multi-platform. Yeah, I'll just make it for your your system. I mean, it's been done in the past before, but it's a different market now. It's a different economy, and I just don't see this being practical, and I don't see Microsoft, even with the amount of cash that they have, wanting to do this. It just doesn't really make any sense, so... But what's the matter, Microsoft? Sony's making you nervous because they have a system that's easy to program for, is arguably more powerful than your next-gen console, and they're going to have first-party exclusives coming out as the system launches. You a little nervous this time, Microsoft, are you? Just a tad? I mean, you had, with the, this generation, you had the fact that your system was easier to program for than the uh, cell processor in the PS3, but that's all thrown out the window. So I think that Microsoft's uh, breaking a little sweat right now. I see the... Uh, the uh, wetness dripping from the Balmer armpits a little bit. He's a little nervous right now. That bald head is probably red and raging right now. So anyway, what's your take on this article? Do you think uh, Microsoft is going to go with the guerrilla tactics and just try to buy third-party games to make them exclusive for the 720? Or do you think that's an antiquated business model like I do? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you have an interesting news story you would like me to discuss private message me with a link via YouTube. And if I use your news article, I will give you a shout out in the video and feature your YouTube channel in the description. Have a good one, folks.